Whether coming or going, these skies are beautiful. Welcome back to the Woodland Reboot. This is the second video in the series where I fix and repair the rust in the fenders on my Chevy pickup truck. It's a 2007 quite old. So in the first series you saw me clean up the rust, repair the damage, and start to pack in the Bondo. There's the first layer of the Bondo. Long fiber Bondo into that big hole and I've backed it with that uh, metal mesh. It's backed by metal mesh and I'm going to have another layer of metal mesh on the outside here. So it's going to be quite strong. All right, everybody, it's another day here at the Woodland Reboot. I'm continuing with my metal repair on the fenders of my pickup truck. I'm probably also going to do the tailgate as well. Anyways, guys, this is, as you can tell, a wood sander. You know what? I'm going to give it a shot and try to use this to sand the metal. I've got myself, as you can see, some 80 grit here. I'm going to use this to take off a little bit more. The 80 grit sandpaper with the sander worked very well and once done on this fender I then took it to the other side and used it to clean up the metal a little bit more. Keeping the bare metal clean and free of debris is important and I think here I'm using a degreaser and I'm constantly wiping it down through the process as I move forward with it. The other day, I put on that first big patch along with that self-adhesive body patch material. And I'm going to put some more of that body patch in there again today. But again, the products I'm using, the Bondo glass, so it's got fiberglass in the Bondo itself, so it's, uh, you can actually see it, it looks kind of hairy at times. What I'm going to show you here is how I mix up the Bondo. Again, it's useful to buy one of these mixing pallets. It gives you a good idea in terms of the instructions in terms of how much Bondo material you put on the pallet here. They say you put about a four inch wide dollop, if you can call it that. And then you put a strip of the hardener material across the middle of it. That's the active agent that gets this thing going. So I scoop out one or two. That's probably enough to start here. It's actually quite a bit. Let's get it somewhat all together there. Put a line of the hardener across. That's more than enough there. Take your little spatula here and then fold it over. It's not the easiest thing to mix, but you're trying to fold it over in a way and mix in a way so that you're reducing the introduction of bubbles. So you see that the color has changed because the hardener is being mixed around. You've got about six to eight minutes to make this happen, guys, so you don't want to waste a lot of time with the mixing. Get it right and move on. I've got some crevices in there that I'm trying to push this into. I think I'm getting it into the crevices, okay. Okay. 
It is quite messy, guys. And gals, super, super messy, everybody. Again, I pre-cut these. Squeezing it into the bondo. Again, what we're going to try to do now is to layer on You don't want this to be too thick or you're going to be sanding forever. Now this is rough guys, a lot of sanding is going to take place. This is starting to set up on me. So, that's starting to take shape everyone. Anyway, we're going to continue to shape that. We're going to sand that down a bit. And, uh, maybe later today. This is already ready to work within half an hour. This is just a layer of regular Bondo, nothing special about this Bondo material here. General, all purpose, no fiberglass reinforcing products in here whatsoever. The purpose here is to increase uh, or add smoothness to the Bondo as you're building it up. This layer, this product does that. So I'm gonna slather it on here and then get ready for another round of sanding. And everything I'm doing on this fender, I'm repeating in terms of the other fender on the other side of the pickup. As well as with the work that I'm doing on the tailgate. Okay everyone, just to recap where we are with this fender. I started, as you'll remember, with uh, cleaning out, getting all the rust out of there, and this one actually ended up having that hole that you could put your hand through. I rebuilt it with some wire mesh. Then I used Bondo that had fiber, uh, fiberglass impregnated or mixed in with the Bondo material. That's that greenish gray that you see underneath there. And what I've done today is I've put on this uh, finer Bondo, or just a regular Bondo. And uh, there are some holes and some pits in it. I don't want to sand that down anymore, so what I'm going to do is take something called glazing and spot putty. Uh, this one's a Moto Master, which means it's a Canadian tire product here in Canada. Um, it's similar to the Bondo, the similar Bondo product. And the idea is that you take a little bit of this material, I'm just opening this for the first time, and um, use a very small applicator. This one right here I have. Put a little bit on there and go to the areas that need it. It really is for the micro holes or smaller holes. So the last sanding I did was with a 180 grit. 
And um, I'm jumping up, I believe, well, I'm not sure what it is, but I'm definitely jumping up to another uh, finer level of grit. After several rounds of Bondo sanding and now some cleaning, this surface is ready for painting. That's going to be the topic for the next video. Thank you for coming by. Please subscribe, like, and share.